Okay, folks, what I want to talk to you about this morning is uh, we're getting ready to do a change out today. And we're going to pump the unit down instead of recovering it because it's a lot quicker in this situation because the line set's short. So the basic tools that you need to do a, a pump down are just your service wrench right here. This is a, a two-port service wrench where it goes not only on the, like the, the high side of the liquid line, but it also goes down on the suction line. So what you want to do to recover it, we've already hooked up our gauges, and we've already purged our gauges. Once again, you're going to hear me say this a thousand times. Always make sure you purge your gauges. Let me show you something. This Freon's already on this one. Okay. So what you want to do is pump down your liquid side. Just turn it all the way down. All right, I've seated it good. Now, before I start pumping down my suction side, which is the suction, I'm gonna pump it down really about halfway. So at the end, when I get ready to go and pump it all the way down, yeah, I'll be there. So I'm just gonna pump it all the way down to where I just got a few turns left. Also, right here, I'm gonna get my disconnect ready. So when it gets done, I'm just gonna pull the disconnect and kill the power on it. Okay, that should be close enough. Watch the gauges. Okay, now I'm going to take an insulated screwdriver and I'm going to push in the contactor. Do not do this with your finger. You really should wear gloves. Just be careful, okay, and watch where you're popping in. Power is on. Now watch the gauges. Sorry about that. I thought my man had the gauges up, but it's okay. I just want you to watch the gauges. It goes down to atmospheric pressure. Okay, now I'm going to start torquing down over here on my suction line as it gets closer. Alright, see it goes down to zero. See it go. It's pumping. I'm watching the gauges. These L reciprocal compressors can handle a lot more than the scroll compressors. All right, you see my high side gauge is below zero. My suction, I'm going to go ahead and pump it on down. Close it off. All right, it's closed off. Pump power. Okay, so what we've done now, we've actually managed to pump all the refrigerant into this condenser. We pumped it down. The gauges are probably off calibrated just a little bit, but we pumped it down to zero, which is atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure, by the way, is 14.7 pounds PSI per square inch. So anyway, that's all you got to do. Folks, pumping down these units can save you time and save you material in here. Sometimes you can take these older recovery, older units and use these for emergency purposes over the weekend or for certain customers that may have uh, some little issues that you can take care of. If you have any questions on how to pump down a unit quickly, safely, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. And if you like this, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.